Hey there, welcome to Encouraging Word, a Friday episode, and it is Friday and it is hot in Killarney. So glad that you've joined us. I'm Dave, and we are glad that you are here for this word of encouragement from the Bible. We've been speaking about our identity in Christ uh, as believers, as followers of Jesus Christ, and one of the hallmarks of the Christian faith is that a person can be changed. A person's identity can be changed. People can be born again. We believe that. Jesus told Nicodemus, the religious leader, that in John chapter 3. You must be born again, in fact, Jesus said. We can become new creations in Christ Jesus. The old has passed away, and behold, all things become as new. That's what the Bible says in the book of Galatians. Uh, we live in an age of what is called cancel culture, where uh, a person's past can be very damning and very damaging even hundreds of years after they've died. Uh, we are seeing statues and monuments being torn down or defaced. People who were honored for one part of their lives are being uh, vilified and demonized uh, for other things in their lives that may have been right or wrong. But we believe that a person who has done very bad things in their lives, uh, in their life, can be redeemed, changed, and justified by God or declared holy by God. Think of the Apostle Paul. In Acts chapter 7, we read that while he may not have thrown a stone, uh, the Bible says that he watched over the coats of those who did stone Stephen to death. In Acts chapter 8, we read that um, Paul... Uh, uh, began to destroy the church, dragging off men and women to jail. Paul was not a nice person. He did horrible, horrible things. But by the grace of God, by the power of God, he was changed. He was transformed. And whereas he was once the persecutor, he then became a planter of churches and a promoter of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And his, his life was obviously changed powerfully by God. Uh, in today's culture, his past would have haunted him, uh, regardless of the good that he may have done. He may have been canceled altogether because people would say, well, look what he's done in the past. Paul obviously believed in being born again. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, Paul is challenging the people of the church there uh, about their behaviors and their attitudes. And he writes this, Do not be deceived, neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, no, nor men who have sex with men, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor slanderers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. And that is what some of you were, but you were washed, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. Paul believed that a person's past could be redeemed, that he or she could be washed, they could be sanctified, which means set apart for a holy use or holy purpose. They could be justified, which is a legal declaration that God makes over us where he treats us just as if we had never sinned. This is all done by the grace and by the spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ. Can a leopard change his spots spiritually? Yes, the answer would be yes. A person can change and a person can become a new creature in Christ Jesus. The old is gone and the new has come. We have to be especially careful when we bring up people's past or when we remember the sins of those who have gone on before us, even in the generations before us. First of all, it invites others to bring up our past. Uh, and let's be honest, every one of us has a past. We all do. And when we talk about others' past, it means they can talk about our past as well. Um, secondly, it goes contrary to the Word of God and God's way of dealing with the sins of those who come to Him. Listen to a couple scriptures that we find throughout the Bible. Micah chapter 7, verse 19 says, He will again have compassion on us and will subdue our iniquities. You will cast out all our sins into the depths of the sea. 
Another verse, Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18 says that God will make our scarlet sins as white as wool. And Psalm 103, verse 12 says that um, as far as the east is from the west, so far has God removed our transgressions from us. From a human standpoint, we understand there may have to be a day of reckoning for things that were done illegally in our past. But can a person's spiritual identity be changed? Praise God, yes. Mine has been. I, I thank God for that. And I trust that yours has been too. Uh, you are a child of God, loved, chosen, adopted, washed, cleansed, justified, sanctified by the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ if you have placed your faith in him. Let's pray together. Father God, thanks so much for what you've done in our lives, for your grace, for your mercy. Lord, we haven't deserved it by any means, but we are children of God because we've placed our faith in you. It's not by our good works. It's by the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and we thank you so much for that. Today, we ask your blessing on each person today. Lord, may we understand that in Christ Jesus, we have been cleansed and washed, and we give you praise. In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen. Hey, God bless you. Thank you for watching today. Uh, on Sunday, our online program will be at 1030. You can look for the link. We're going to be talking about our spiritual passport, our spiritual identity card. And uh, it's in the scripture. You can look it up for yourself. This is what the Bible says about who you are. And you can uh, join us uh, that uh, with that or for that, I should say, uh, on Sunday morning, 10.30. Uh, you can be part of that. God willing, we'll be back on Monday with another word of encouragement. God bless. Have a great weekend.